characters to create something else. You also could edit the palettes. You could use whatever colors you, you would like. And <clears throat> there's a lot of other stuff, impressive stuff. And uh, also, he, he, uh, he, he evolved uh, the language, so it's more, you could use more uh, elaborate things than in the CCT OOP. Um, so as you can see, the, the Megasus games could be a lot more uh, technically advanced in, in their scope. Um, but in the beginning, m most people that started using Megasus came from the ZZT community. Uh, and they started making CCT games in Megasus using all the, this new stuff, but generally just making the games that they would make in CCT. Until Greg himself released this called, a game called Weirdness in 96. Uh, and this drastically changed how uh, everybody would look at a, a Megasus game. Is he introduced some stuff that was never before seen, like uh, full motion videos, or uh, not videos, but uh, intro sequences, uh, animated stuff. Um, the, the game mechanics weren't based on the default game mechanics in the world. He used an inventory system, much like CR games. And also, he had added other stuff like that 3D maze up in the right there. And this. This actually drastically changed how um, how uh, the expectations of how game games uh, or how Megasus games should be because he had another there was so much effort put into this weirdness game uh, that uh, it, it spawned several small companies like uh, before before the ZCT and Megasus had been a uh, sort of like a much more amateur community. Uh, but this made it lean towards making small groups of people, making it together, uh, st starting to make sort of a professional uh, thing out of it. Um, and after that, he sort of disappeared from the scene, uh, 96. Uh, and it's, it's He's been quoted that he, he didn't really like the way uh, the community, the community's attitude, had changed and changed towards him, uh, which is, which is really sad. Because uh, as as I said earlier, this is sort of my sort of like my first big idol in game design, um, and when I sometimes you get nostalgic and you want to like look up stuff that that's been made. But when you search Greg Jensen, there's, there's not a lot of things uh, to read about. So I guess this is sort of my first step of uh, giving some sort of tribute to that. Uh, uh, so I, I did some soul searching to, to give this presentation some more, uh, some much more of an analyzed touch, so it wouldn't just be a history lesson. And I guess the, the thing that spoke to me about how Greg Jansen worked is sort of like um, the thing that, that the CCT and the Megasus communities are all about when creating the games. And it's this uh, innovation through limitations that I guess uh, Michael Todd also touched upon. Yeah. <laughs> um, that when you. <coughs> In many ways, ZZT sort of is better than Megasus because you get you, you are the limitations are much more. Uh, are you can't do as much as you can with Megasus. Megasus sort of leans towards you could make this game, this pix pixelated games, uh, however you wanted. Only you you're stuck with this grid-based uh, ASCII-based. Uh, game setting, while CCT, you, you're, you come into a CCT with a expectation that this will be an ASCII-based game, and uh, the, the CCT game sort of becomes like a, a mix between Zelda gameplay and interactive novels, because you, sort of <laughs> you often need to explain what the, the objects uh, symbolize in the game, because 
they're they're made out of letters basically and this is what I think um, when you work against these limitations that's what got me uh, impressed I guess and uh, and inspired me to do something uh, sort of the same and still when I, when I played these games I, I, I tried a lot of them when researching this short article or presentation uh, I sort of got uh, got a yearning to make a ZCT game just because uh, you can you can focus on the things um, the important things of the game which I, I uh, for me is the game mechanics and uh, you don't have to care so much about the other stuff around it yeah so that's uh, what I like about it. Yeah, and there's an epilogue. Whatever happened to Gregory Jansen? This is sort of... <laughs> this was kind of shady for a while, but um, I guess this presentation would, wouldn't be as complete if this information wasn't there. So <laughs> today Gregory Jansen is called Alexis Jansen. He's actually transsexual, and he won a uh, Great designs, designer shirts search in 2006 held by Wizards of the Coast, and the winners of that search got to work for Wizards of the Coast, who made Magic the Gathering. So now he, he works as a designer of cards and uh, rules, and uh, make this, makes up the stuff that Magic the Gathering consists of. I, I'm sure there are more stuff he's involved with, but. It's, it's, it's kind of an uh, he or she. Uh, it's it's uh, a, represent, 